Thank you all for coming this morning. My name is Heather Ashley, H-E-A-T-H-E-R-A-S-H-L-E-Y with the Coryell County Sheriff's Office. Joining me today is Coryell County Sheriff, Sheriff Scott Williams, S-C-O-T-T-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, and Texas Department of Public Safety Sergeant Brian Washko, B R. Y A N W A S H K O. Today we're going to provide an update on the ongoing search for Brandon Hogan. Brandon Hogan, described as a white male, five foot nine, approximately 160 pounds, with light brown, dark blonde hair that is balding on top, walked away from a work crew at Seton Cemetery near Leon Junction shortly before 10 a.m. on September 26th. At the time, he was part of a three inmate work crew conducting grounds maintenance under supervision. He had been in the Coryell County Jail since August 1st on charges of theft of a firearm, burglary of a habitation, continuous, continuous family violence, and criminal mischief. Moments from his disappearance, a large-scale search was formed that eventually included all elements of the Coryell County Sheriff's Office, elements of Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas Game Wardens, members of the United States Marshals Service Lone Star Task Force, Texas Department of Criminal Justice searchers on horseback and with dog teams, dogs from Team Texas Canines, and elements of the Coryell County, the McLennan County Sheriff's Office. In addition, immediately upon finding out Hogan had escaped, Region 6 and Code Red Alerts were sent out to residents and the larger area. I'll turn it over now to Sheriff Williams for more update. Good morning. Um, for those of y'all that don't know me, I'm Sheriff Scott Williams. Uh, as of right now, we have not captured Mr. Hogan. Uh, he is continuing to elude us, but I will tell you we have broadened our search. Uh, we have enlisted the help of all the agencies that Ms. Ashley has already uh, described to you. You can see we're represented pretty well up here, and all these people represent a lot of people. Uh, we appreciate all the area residents and the landowners for their assistance in trying to locate Mr. Hogan. We have ran down hundreds and hundreds of leads. Uh, we have taken us all over the county, all over the state of Texas. The leads do still continue to come in and I, I do welcome them. I encourage folks, if you see something, you need to say something. I want you to understand that Mr. Br Brandon Hogan is a very dangerous man. Do not approach him, do not engage him. The moment you see him, call somebody. The guy's getting pretty desperate, I believe. Uh, I, need, I need Mr. Brandon Hogan to understand one thing, though, and then I'm gonna turn it over to Sergeant Washko. We're gonna look for you, we're never gonna quit. We're gonna be there every day. Young man, you gotta get lucky every time. We only gotta get lucky once. And we have thousands of people looking for you. I need you to just comprehend that because we're coming. And we're going to bring you back and we're going to lock you up where you belong. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, my constituents, fellow Texans, fellow Americans, if you see this individual, call. Our number is 254-865-7201, extension 0. If you don't want to call that, call 911. That will get you to the closest local law enforcement and explain to them what you have. I welcome it and thank you so very much for everything y'all are doing. Thank you, Sheriff. My name's Sergeant Brian Washko at the Texas Highway Patrol. I'm here to announce that Mr. Hogan has been placed on the Texas Top 10 Most Wanted list. Um, and the Texas Crime Stoppers program uh, through the state, it offers cash rewards to anyone who provides information that takes anybody off that list. 
Uh, these cash rewards are eligible for tipsters through three different methods. There's a Texas Crime Stoppers phone number. It's 1-800-252-TIPS. They can submit a web tip through the Top 10 Most Wanted website or the Facebook page, or you can download the TXDPS mobile app, and it's easy to navigate. You can click on anybody's photo, uh, drop down boxes. Like I said, it, you can put all your information in there. However, one thing that people are reluctant to do in fear of retaliation is the contact crime stoppers. Well, you're, tech, you're protected by Texas law to remain anonymous. You'll be issued a number. Your identi identity will never be revealed. So anybody out there that didn't know that, that's good information to know. Uh, Mr. Brandon, uh, Mr. Hogan's award for the Texas Crime Stoppers now is up to $5,000. That's not counting the other uh, Crime Stoppers, whether it's local. Uh, but like the sheriff said, I want to echo him on do not make any contact. If you see this person or know of anybody that's assisting him, call 911. Do not make any contact with this person. Like I said, desperate people do desperate things. Don't become a victim. Be a good witness and contact the authorities. Turn back over to the sheriff. In closing, I want to say uh, my hat's off to uh, the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, Colleen Police Department, McLennan County Sheriff's Office, Texas Department of Criminal Justice, and the Texas DPS Highway Patrol. They have tirelessly helped us. And I want to give a special thank to Team Texas Canines. They came here for free to help us and ran a fantastic track. Um, with that being said, you know, going through the Texas top 10 most wanted, uh, crime stoppers through the state and through the U S marshals, it is payable up to $7,500 for the reward for any information that leads to the capture of Brandon Hogan. Also, I'd like to announce that, uh, this will be featured in our next Crime Stoppers report here at, uh, for Syntex Crime Stoppers here in Coryell County. Without any further ado, if nobody back here has anything to say, we'll entertain some questions. He did not have any help at first. It was uh, based on what we have found. It was just an opportune time for him to do what he was going to do. Uh, he is from the area that he escaped from, very intimate with that area. Uh, matter of fact, he did a lot of his na land navigation for the Boy Scouts and what have you. Very, very intimate with that area. And uh, do I think he's had help since? Absolutely. Absolutely, and then when I find those folks, we're going to get them too. We have not ruled anything out. We are keeping a very heavy footprint in the area that he uh, escaped from. We are also uh, providing force protection for his uh, victim of his previous crimes. Not to mention we are reaching all over the United States with the aid of DPS, the U.S. Marshals, and other agencies throughout Texas. Yes, ma'am. We have ran that lead down. It was not him. Uh, we and we identified that based on uh, some tattoos that the young man has. Uh, it was a very good photo, the one I saw yesterday but it was not him. And please don't let that deter you. If you have something, please send it. Leave that to us to decide whether or not it's uh, valid or not. What qualified this individual for a work detail like that if he was a crime of violence? He was not qualified for that. Um, and that investigation is undergoing right now, but my main concern is to get Mr. Hogan back in custody before I put any effort into finding out why he was out. Have you guys discussed changing any policies moving forward after this? The policies were there. It was an oversight based on uh, his classification. Any employees that are fired because of Brandon Hogan? 
again, I have not put forth any investigation effort into that because my efforts are focused on bringing Mr. Hogan back to custody and protecting his alleged, his alleged victim. Any other questions? I cannot. Uh, it's an ongoing deal with between him and the uh, AG's office and Child Protective Services. Thank you, Sheriff. Mr. Hogan's picture is already up on the Texas Most Wanted website. Um, what is the website? They can go to uh, Texas Top 10 Most Wanted or the TXDPS website. Uh, you just navigate the site, look for fugitives, and it's very easy to find. So, and there's also a Facebook page, and also they have just like they go directly to the Texas Top 10 website and have numerous pictures there, but you can focus on the Top 10. Click on their items, their names, and there's drop boxes on what to do if you have any information. And also, like I said, reiterate that if there's anybody that you know has, has mentioned or handed around that has assisted him, like the sheriff uh, implemented that they're also committed a felony and uh, any information helps. So let's get everybody involved. If this individual has had help, it's been two and a half weeks. It's a good possibility. Um, if he is still alive and out there that he's, he's got to eat something. So uh, if he's had outer assistance, those two uh, will be dealt with. 